And then let's go into our expenses side of things to kind of recap what we saw in a prior presentation. We can go into the vendors, for example, and I'm gonna close up the hamburger and we, we had purchase orders for our major vendor that we buy from. That's gonna be Epiphone. That's who we buy the guitars from. And then we made these two purchase orders here. So if I go uh, into this purchase order, for example, we go into that purchase order. Uh, it's linked to a check form. So that would indicate that we got a receivement received on it. And we've got these two customers or the customer in these two fields, that customer being Eric Music. So the purchase order is requesting from the vendor, but we put the customer in there. So when I turn around and pay it, it'll remind me to create the invoice. This is the first step, the purchase order. If I close that back out, if I look at this purchase order, then we can see this one didn't have any actual customer field because we just purchased them for the shop. Closing that back out. And then we made a check form, I believe encompassing or, or being populated from both of those purchase orders. So if I go into that, this is us. Now we imagined we got the guitars and with the bill in it, and we populated the information that we're just gonna pay the bill that we got with a check. But we have these two customers that populated from the purchase order. Then we have this billable option. We then made them a uh, billable here. This is where we gotta be very careful because these billable items are neat because they allow us to then create an invoice for this particular customer, but it's not exactly using the items tab the way we might imagine it to do it's kind of using this billable tab. So it would be like pulling over like a telephone expense that we paid, tried trying to pull that over into the invoice. Let's just take a quick look at where the options are to turn that on in the settings. I'm gonna to go to the tab to the right, right click on it. And let's go up to the, uh, the cog up top. And I'm gonna go into the accounting and settings. And then we're in the expenses tab on the left hand side. And then in this billing area, it says right here, make expenses and items billable. So mark with, with a default rate or so mark, you could have, you could mark it up, but usually that's not what we would like to have it be doing is driven by the items, not just, just to mark it up. Uh, but then we've got the uh, track billable expense items as income. So it would create another kind of income line item if we use that kind of billable item but it's not really using the items to drive where it's going. So let me show you what I mean on that. Let's complete this out. And so let's go to, I'm gonna close this out. I'm gonna go back to the first tab. So now we're gonna turn around and create an invoice for uh, Eric Music, and then it'll ask us to populate with this billable item because that's, that's what the purpose of it, the billable item is.